Settle ye down now, me fondling, and I'll be giving ye a nice story again tonight. <laughs> and no one's going to stop me from telling me nice story. Mama, I have a surprise for you. Look! We never knew your birthday, but today is mine, and I thought that we might, you know, share the same birthday. The cursed paraffin! <laughs> oh, well, someone once said, I, I may be wrong, that yours was the first of May. A May child. Do I know you? Mary. I'm waiting for someone, and he will come yet. <laughs> and time to take your pills? They're good for me. I'll give you a cigarette. Oh, there was a decent man who went to the market, and his decent wife the same. Is, is that a step? Oh, well, Dolly was to call last night. Nobody. Didn't call the night before either. Cold! In heat again. What was her man to car efficiency and all that he cared to put his hands to, like all small men? <laughs> Try that and see if it's all right for you. Oh, but he was unlucky. He was, he was. And at times, maybe she was a bit unkind to him. Was she? No. How many children had she bore? Oh, eight, nine, ten. And what happened to them? What happened to Saul? Them that weren't drowned or died, they say she drove away. Mama, I, I am Mary. I'm very happy here. She, she looked after her grandchildren. <laughs> Tom's in Galloway. He's a feared of the gander. <laughs> what was the dog's name? You know, I can't remember. Mordonna. Yeah, what was it? Mordonna. Spot. Rover, Modonna, Modonna. Jesus. Modonna, oh, how he loved the dog. And the care and the butter of him, too. One time, putting the hot embers in the little eggshell and setting it by the door. Oh, and the root in the arse. In the root in the arse. Oh, poor Modonna. Oh, but it did. It did it stop that dog from teething the eggs. How are you? Oh, and the poor grandchildren left unattended. Getting a present. Oh, for what? I couldn't come up last night. What do I? You never know. She'll last forever. Balagan Goira. Balagan Goira. Do you want a fag? Micheline is sick. The tonsils again. So I couldn't come up last night. I don't know what to do about them tonsils. So I can't stay late tonight either. Well, aren't you going to say hello to her? What's up with you? Home, I'm going. Aren't you going to take off your coat? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? What time is it? Eight. Oh. It's a quarter past eight. Quarter past eight. Sure, that's not late. Mm. <laughs> that's a rhyme. <laughs> now free. <laughs> Oh, uh, sweet. Miss Sweet! They say it's easier to do it for someone else's. And that old story is only upsetting her. Mm. Mm. No thanks. But, uh... Harping on misery. And only wearing herself out. And you. And I write, Mary. And she never finishes it. Do you remember? What? Mm. Look, I know it affects you. Like her not recognizing you ever. Mm. What is it? 
I've often thought what? maybe I was too, you know, bossy at first. Well, well, there could be something in that too. But I was trying to bring about change, you know, comfort, civilized. Yes, well, but, so I don't know. You were away an awful long time. I was left holding the can. Like, if you think of it, you owe me a very big debt. Hmm? I mean, that's why she recognizes me. We had a pony and trap once. <laughs> the Sunday outings. You don't remember? <laughs> ribbons. Granddad would always bring back ribbons for our hair. <laughs> ah, you don't remember. You work too hard. <laughs> what? And you're too serious. Mm. Do you remember daddy? Well, the photographs. All brown ghosts. You are. You are. You're, you're too serious. I suppose I am. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Home. Talk to her. Hmm? Good man, Momo. How's it cutting? Good man, Momo. Pardon? How's the adversary treating you? Good man, Momo. I brought you the sweets. Oh, butterscotch, isn't it, darling? Butterscotch, I have oceans of money. Oh, your favorites. Yeah, you like them ones. Try one, or you give it to her. Do I like them ones? Mm -hmm. oh, suck it slowly. Gob stoppers, I should have brought her. <laughs> It'd be a blessing if she went. Oh, don't say things like that. Just talk to her, come on. About what? It's like an oven in here and I don't understand a word she's saying. Take off your coat. I don't want to take off my coat. Tell her about the children. Stafford, nonsense talk about 40 years ago. I don't have enough problems of my own. Why don't you stick her in there? It's damp and she understands, you know, recognizes you a lot of the time. Where she can see ya. Well, the children are all fine, Mamo. Well, Micheline is sick. The tonsils again. I've rubber back Lino in all the bedrooms now. Oh, the Honda is going like a bomb. Oh, and the lounge, my dear, is uh, carpeted. Connor, that lean and lanky bastard, is snaking his fencing another six inches. Oh, and my darling mother-in-law, old sharp eyes in the family rosary, sends her personal blessings to you both. You're nice. Did you hear from Stephen? 135 quid a week and never a line. Uh, he's busy. Fuck him. Fuck him. <laughs> oh, Jesus, misfortunes. Sorry. Oh, a cake, a candle, candles. What's the occasion? When did you arrive? Who are you? Dolly, I think. Dolly. Yes, I'm Dolly. I'm your granddaughter. That's Mary. She's your other granddaughter. And your grandson, Tom, Tom is dead. Dolly? Dolly! <laughs> Dolly, it is you! Of course, you was always the jokester. Why didn't you tell me you were coming? I... Miss, put the kettle on, just standing there. Oh, Dolly, lovey, lovey, lovey. Both set the... Let me look, stand up. Come, stand up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 you got fat. <laughs> you did. You got fat on me. Oh, you did. 
Oh, but now I like to show. Miss, put the kettle on. Dolly, come here to me. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh. <laughs> who, who, who is that woman? She's a sly one. Watch her. Why is she interfering? Shh. And Momo, I'm in terrible trouble. Watch her. Leave her to me. I'll deal with her. Miss, will you come out, Miss, and uh, make a brew? Oh, someone going on a voyage? I've come to a decision, Dolly. Again? You're not pulling your weight. Well, there's always the county home. Oh, you wouldn't. Wouldn't I? Why should I stick myself again back in here? Why should I? A place like this? Why do I in a place like this? Isn't that just your business? Look, I have to be going. I have to go out sometimes too. Home. I'm going. You look it. I need to talk to someone. I need to talk to someone too. Why don't you take off your coats? Fuck it. And that was the second reading because Stella watched after that night and he got no reply, nor did he expect one. <laughs> For none was right in that family. 